Now for my final coat, I'm going to mix some clear flat and a little bit of clear gloss. I don't want a totally flat finish. And go ahead and spray the model up. Okay, I'm going to spray the gun panel as well as the engine parts, tail cone parts. I've got a, a metallizing type paint here. This metalizer paint now, it doesn't take very long to dry. Once it's dry, give it a few minutes to dry, we can come in with a t-shirt and I'm going to buff it out and it'll get very shiny. It doesn't take very much. I'm just going to lightly buff this because I don't want it too shiny. Now I'm going to do the same thing with this tail cone piece. I'm going to buff it out very lightly. Okay, we're ready to do some weathering. I'm going to use some oil paint. I've already got the gray color mix that we put in our panel lines. I'm getting a little bit more raw umber. Brown. What I'm going to do is come along and take some of that gray and a little of that brown. And here and there on the model, I place just a small dab behind a rivet or something and streak it back with my finger. So we're going to scatter this weathering around. I'm going to put small dabs of paint here and there and streak it back with my finger. We can use the same oil effect thinned out with turpenoid to get a little bit different effect or of a wet streaked look. We want to keep all our, all our weathering subtle though. I'm just going to bounce around here and there, put small streaks. Okay, now to simulate exhaust and gun burns, I'm coming in with some black pastel that I've ground off with an exacto, And I'm going to stipple it onto the surface here. Blow the excess off. Come back to these vents and add a little bit of streaks. I'm going to keep this subtle, as with all your other weathering. Now with pastels, I don't recommend using a clear coat. This has a tendency to cause them to go transparent. Um, once you've got them on there, basically you can't handle them. So be careful when handling your model. Underwing stores, missiles, fuel tanks should be treated the same as a separate aircraft model. All the seams should be filled. The lines should be rescribed. If the fins are too thick, they should be thinned down or replaced. Now in painting them, I've gone ahead, sprayed them with white, given them the coat of future floor wax and treated the panel lines with oil paint. And I've also come in, added decal stripes, just some decal that I cut out of a sheet. Now the weapons pylons, I've given the same treatment as the rest of the model. I've given them a wash, some dry brushing, a little bit of forced panel lines when I airbrushed them. Also come in and taken some 48 scale decals from a MIG kit and added some small stencil. Well, that's it. If you like, you can enter your jet in local or national hobby contests. Your local hobby shop will fill you in on the contest information. Remember, though, we do this mostly for fun. Thanks for watching Video Workbench. I'm Chris Wilson, and we'll see you next time.